Hi, welcome to the unboxing and setup of my medium-sized Delphonics utility pouch in yellow or mustard. This is the Artful Aesthetic. Thank you so much for watching. Here I'm using my traveler's notebook in order to kind of sketch out what items I wanted to have in my utility pouch as well as where I wanted to place them within the pouch. I didn't fill out everything but just the main um, objects I wanted to be put in there. So I chose the medium Delphonics utility pouch in mustard because I wanted to use this as a desk companion. And I think that's something that's important for me to talk about um, because I try to keep my everyday carry as light as possible because I just don't want to be carrying around a bunch of weight. And so I actually use a Bellroy pencil case to carry things like my Maya liners and um, I don't even know what else is in there, a ruler, correction tape, things like that. This pouch, while I think it is amazing and super well built and incredibly roomy, is too big for me to use as an everyday carry. It doesn't mean you can't. If you like to carry larger things, you don't mind, then go for it because I think it is amazing. But the medium size for me is perfect to have just sitting on my desk for all of my most used items. I find that what ends up happening is I try to keep my art area or craft space or whatever you want to call it as organized as possible. Um, but unfortunately, I always end up getting incredibly messy. As you can tell from my videos, usually I have to clear out the space on my desk in order to, <laughs> to work at it and to film. Um, and I do have an Ikea pegboard system, which is beautiful. I am currently setting up a Ikea Rascog cart, which I'm really loving. I'm really enjoying. It's freeing up a bunch of space for me. And still, I want to be able to have this little tiny contained area where everything that I tend to use is right there. I can grab it and bring it to another part of the house if I need to, or I can just keep it on my desk and know that mostly everything that I want to use is at, I mean, a fingertip <laughs> space away. So you saw me put in some different items here. Um, I put in my traveler's notebook, which is from Eternal Leather Goods. It is standard size and it fit perfectly. I didn't know if it would. I was kind of nervous about the fit, but I find that if I keep it out, then I am not as inclined to use it because I end up just creating a pile of traveler's notebooks and journals and art sketchbooks and all kinds of things and so having it in here I know where it is I know how to get to it it's easier for me I put in um, my watercolor palette which I have a video up on my YouTube channel about it so please feel free to look if you're into Daniel Smith you're into watercolors it's a it's a comprehensive video about what I have and then my HP sprocket, which is probably, I mean, besides obviously the art journal itself, might be my most used item. I use it multiple times a week to print off pictures of my daughter or um, my wife and I or anything that I need. And so having it at, at, at beck and call right next to me is something that's really important to me. Then I wanted to start to put my craft items that kind of roll away or are hard to get off of my peg system. Like the scissors, for example, are just hung on by a hook, which is impossible for me to get off quickly and I find it very annoying. So I have them in this pouch along with um, correction tape and tape runner. Then I put in my most used pens in the front, although I'll be honest, the Twisby is not one of my most used pens. I just find it kind of finicky and I also lost the little wrench that you're supposed to use in order to tighten part of it and so I don't know I just I like pens I like really any item that I can customize but I don't have to baby and I feel like that Twisby pen I have to baby and it's just not working out so well for me but boy is it beautiful it's rose gold I got it from my parents so it's there because I love it I just don't want to use it <laughs> I have my Lamy All-Star, my Holbein water brush, a Karis Customs copper bolt pen, a Pentel brush pen, an X-Acto knife, um, 
yeah, those are those are the items that I'm putting there. Oh, and then my little tiny Kaweco Lilliput, which is the smallest fountain pen I have, and it is the cutest. I love that tiny little pen. I just think it is so cute. It works so well. I like the size of the nib. If you're looking for a small pocket fountain pen, the Kaweco Lilliput. Gonna gonna recommend that one to you. Now I didn't know what to put in the back of this case. There's a ton of space, but I don't know. I don't think I need to use it just yet, which is something that's exciting. I have a lot of room still left in this case to be able to put new items, new things I'm realizing that I use all the time. I'll put some washi tape over in the corner there. But I think this case is gonna be a good pal to me for a long time to come. I'm really, really excited about it, and I recommend it to you, especially as a desk companion, or if you don't mind a heavier everyday carry, pop everything you need in there and bring it with you. I hope this was helpful. Have a great day. Bye-bye.